Hi everyone, it's Sorkin. Today we have a problem when we are given a string s and we need to find the longest palindromic subsequence. So for example, in this case we have b, 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 a, b and we are removing a and the remaining our subsequence is b, b, b and the b. So four b's which is the longest palindromic subsequence. By requirement, we may delete some elements. So for example, we are deleting A in this case, but we should not change the order of the remaining elements. So without changing the order of remaining elements. We are going to solve this problem using dynamic programming bottom-up approach. So first let's remind ourselves what is dynamic programming bottom-up approach. It's an approach when we are taking a problem, we are dividing that to smaller sub-problems and then we are first solving the smaller sub-problem and then we are building up to our solution. So for example, in this case, let's take our previous example. We our string b b b a b so in this case what we are going to do first we are going to solve when for the size of of one right let's say that we have only one element we are solving for a individual for b individually for this b individually and so on if we have only one element so the the longest subsequence the the longest palindromic subsequence is also one right so for for the zero index, for the zero index, we are setting that to one. For the first index, second index, third and four. So we are setting that to one. So we solved when the size of our subsequence is equals to one. Now let's solve the, when the size of our subsequence is equals to two. So we are solving from zero to one, from one to two, from two to three, and from three to four, right? So we are solving for these cases. For zero and one, from zero and one, the size of our subsequence is equals to, b is equals to b, so we are setting that to two. So the same for the from one to two is, it is equals to what? It equals to from one to, from, from one to two, it's equals also two. So from one to, from two to three, from two to three, it equals two. So they are not equal. So we are taking this value one and so on. So let's say that we have solved also for two and we have stored for the, we have stored our sub problems. So whatever the longest value we have, we have stored in our two dimensional array, right? Let's call it the dynamic programming let's call it dp right two dimension array so we have stored here so now let's say that we are solving we are going to next level so we have solved when the size is equals to one the size is equals to two now we are solving when the size is, is equals to three so we are solving now for when the size is equals to three so we are solving from zero to, to one so we are solving from one to three so we are solving from two to four right so we are solving for this we are solving this sub problem so let's say from zero to one from zero to one and we are maintaining two variables so the first variable let's let's call it i and the, the second one that is pointing to the end of our uh, end of our subsequence is j so let's check if i is equals to j if i is equals to j yes they are equal in this case so what it means, it means that the, the longest subsequence in this case, so let's put our first rule, the longest subsequence is, so whatever the problem that was here, right, whatever the problem that we solved here, plus two. So we have already solved this problem. So we have already solved this problem, whatever is in here, right, what is even in here. So we have already solved that problem plus two. So what we are going to take, so we are going to take dp, i plus one so i plus one right i plus one i plus one and uh, the value that we are taking j and the j minus one right so j minus one j minus one plus 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 two that's our first rule if our if our corner elements, right, if they are equal, so we are taking whatever the sub problem that we have already solved plus two, because these two elements are equal and we are updating that in our, we are updating that in our two dimensional array. So from zero to two, we are updating now that here to three, correct? So how about let's take this example. So from one to three, from one to three, these two elements, 
these two elements, the cornered elements, right? If we are taking from, from 1 to 3, so we are taking from 1 to 3, i and the j. So i and the j is not equal, uh, they are not equal. If they are not equal, so what we do? We are taking whatever the maximum is, so whatever the maximum is either here or here, right? So whatever the maximum is here, because these two elements are not equal, so which means that the maximum that we can get is, the maximum that we can get is, is whatever is here, the subproblem that we already solved, or whatever is in here. So we are taking maximum, so maximum, right? The first one is the maximum dp, dp, um, i plus one j, i plus one j, uh, and or, or, or we are taking dp, i, j minus one. So we are taking either this case, right? Either this case, and if, if they are not equal, so we are taking whatever the subproblem that we already solved. So either this, either this one or this one. So whichever is the maximum, we are taking that one. So after solving for three, right? So after solving for three, the for, for three elements, if this when the size is equals to three, the next step is what we do. We are solving when the when our sub the when the size is equals to four so we are solving for this one right and we are solving from zero to three or from one to four so we are solving from zero to three or from one to four again in this case we are doing the same so now our j, i is equals so i and the j right so we are comparing whether if our i and the j if they are equal is our i and the j equal in this case no they are not equal because b is not equals to a so we are again taking whatever the maximum here either the maximum of this one right so either the maximum of either this one or this one right either the this one or this one but again we have already solved this sub problem right so we are taking that from our to the from our two dimensional matrix two dimensional array and uh, up and updating the value from from i to j in this case from 0 to 3 right from 0 to 3 we are updating that value first thing that we do here we are defining the size of our string and uh, then we are creating two dimension array um, well, let's call it dp and then the first iteration so what we do we are for for the let's take our this example right b b b a b that we have seen earlier for the size of equals to one we are setting that to one because for each individual element the longest so the longest palindromic subsequence is equals to one right so now we are going to the next iteration when so since we have already solved for one we are going and starting to solve when the size is equals to two when the size is equals to three and so on so we are defining our i which starts from the zero and goes until the end of our string and we are defining our j which is the i plus whatever the length is minus one and uh, what we are doing so we at each iteration we are checking that the, if the if the and if the i if the value of i is equals to value of j let's say let's take this example right so let's say let's say that the, we are comparing for b and the b these two b's i is equals to zero and the j is equals to four are if the, their values are equal if their values are equal it means that uh, we are the so whatever our subsequence is, whatever our palindromic subsequence is plus two right because these two values are equal and we are taking whatever the sub problem that we have solved here from i plus one j minus one right so i plus one j minus one which means that uh, from one to three so we are taking from dp one to three plus two right plus two that will give us our that will that will give us a result from starting from zero for to four which which is for for our string if they are not equal if they are not equal so we are taking whatever the max value is i plus one j right so for let's say that these two are not equal then we are taking whatever the max value is here for these four elements or whatever the max value is these four elements so what whatever the max value is we are taking them so uh, i plus one j right or i uh, i 
j minus one so whatever max value is we are taking and at the end we are returning uh, dp zero uh, n minus one which will contain our maximum um, palindromic subsequence java solution is identical to python so what we do first we are taking the size of our uh, string s and then we are checking if the size equals to zero so we are just returning zero if not then we are defining our two dimension array dp and we are setting with the size of n and n so for the so for the size um, of the sub problem is equals to one we are just uh, setting that those values to one right for the zero for one for two and so on so then we since we have already solved that for the sub problems so with the size of one so then we are starting to solve for the sub problems with the size of two so we are starting from the zero and then we are going until the end of our string minus the whatever the length of uh, we are solving right now so we have i and our j is i plus whatever the length is minus one so we are checking that uh, for example let's say that we uh, for our previous case right b b b a and b so we are checking that the what the, if the values are let's say that the, we are solving for for our whole string right so we are checking that if the value of uh, i which is zero and if the value of our j which is four if they are equal whether they are equal yes they are equal in this case so what it means that it means that the plus two whatever the value we have for our substring we are adding plus two because these two elements are equal and we are taking whatever the value of from this bba right from the index one to index three because we have already solved that sub problem and we have stored that in our two dimension array so we are taking that value and we are adding that two if they are not so what it means it means that we need to take whatever the max value is from the z index zero to index three or from the index one to index four right so we are taking whatever the max value is there so we are set, um, taking the max value and the setting that to our two dimension array and at the end we are returning the value for zero and n minus one which will be the size of our array and uh, so the, which will be the size of our array so what's the time and space complexity of this solution the time complexity is n square and uh, the the same goes for the space complexity because we are using two dimensional array here okay uh that's it for today hope you like my content if you like it please hit the like button and subscribe my channel see you next time bye